Universal Disk Format (UDF) is a profile of the specification known as ISO IEC 13346 and ECMA 167 and is an open vendor neutral file system for computer data storage for a broad range of media. In practice, it has been most widely used for DVDs and newer optical disk formats, supplanting ISO 9660. Due to its design, it is very well suited to incremental updates on both recordable and re writable optical media. UDF is developed and maintained by the Optical Storage Technology Association Normally, authoring software will master a UDF file system in a batch process and write it to optical media in a single pass. But when packet writing to rewritable media, such as CDRW, UDF allows files to be created, deleted and changed on disk just as a general purpose file system would on removable media like floppy disks and flash drives. This is also possible on write once media, such as CDR, but in that case the space occupied by the deleted files cannot be reclaimed and instead becomes inaccessible. Multi-session mastering is also possible in UDF, though some implementations may be unable to read disks with multiple sessions. History The Optical Storage Technology Association standardized the UDF file system to form a common file system for all optical media, both for read-only media and for rewritable optical media. When first standardized, the UDF file system aimed to replace ISO 9660, allowing support for both read-only and writable media. After the release of the first version of UDF, the DVD consortium adopted it as the official file system for DVD video and DVD audio. Topic. Revisions Multiple revisions of UDF have been released Revision 1.00, October 24, 1995. Original release. Revision 1.01, November 3, 1995. Added DVD appendix and made a few minor changes. Revision 1.02, August 30, 1996. This format is used by DVD video discs. Revision 1.50, February 4, 1997. Added support for virtual rewritability on CDR, DVDR media by introducing the VAT structure. Added sparing tables for defect management on rewritable media such as CDRW, and DVDRW and DVD plus RW. Revision 2.00, April 3, 1998. Added support for stream files and real-time files for DVD recording and simplified directory management. VAT support was extended. Revision 2.01 March 15, 2000 is mainly a bugfix release to UDF 2.00. Many of the UDF standards ambiguities were resolved in version 2.01. Revision 2.50 April 30, 2003. Added the metadata partition facilitating metadata clustering, easier crash recovery and optional duplication of file system information. All metadata like nodes and directory contents are written on a separate partition which can optionally be mirrored. This format is used by some versions of Blu-ray discs. Revision 2.60 March 1, 2005. Added pseudo-overwrite method for drives supporting pseudo-overwrite capability on sequentially recordable media. Has read-only compatibility with UDF 2.50 implementations. Some Blu-ray discs use this format. UDF revisions are internally encoded as binary coded decimals. Revision 2.60, for example, is represented as hexadecimal 0260. In addition to declaring its own revision, compatibility for each volume is defined by the minimum read and minimum write revisions, each signaling the requirements for these operations to be possible for every structure on this image. A. Maximum write. Revision additionally records the highest UDF support level of all the implementations that has written to this image. For example, a UDF 2.01 volume that does not use stream files introduced in UDF 2.00 but uses VAT UDF 1.50 created by UDF 2. 60 capable implementation may have the revision declared as hexadecimal 0201, the minimum read revision set to hexadecimal 0150, the minimum write to hexadecimal 0150, and the maximum write to hexadecimal 0260. 
Topic: Specifications. The UDF standard defines three file system variations called builds. These are plain random read write access. This is the original format supported in all UDF revisions. Virtual allocation table aka VAT incremental writing used specifically for writing to write once media. Spared limited random write access used specifically for writing to rewritable media. Topic. Plain build Introduced in the first version of the standard, this format can be used on any type of disk that allows random read-write access, such as hard disks, DVD plus RW and DVD RAM media. Metadata up to v2.50 and file data is addressed more or less directly. In writing to such a disk in this format, any physical block on the disk may be chosen for allocation of new or updated files. Since this is the basic format, practically any operating system or file system driver claiming support for UDF should be able to read this format. Topic. VAT build Write once media such as DVD-R and CD-R have limitations when being written to, in that each physical block can only be written to once, and the writing must happen incrementally. Thus the plain build of UDF can only be written to CDRs by pre-mastering the data and then writing all data in one piece to the media, similar to the way an ISO 9660 file system gets written to CD media. To enable a CDR to be used virtually like a hard disk, whereby the user can add and modify files on a CDR at will so-called drive letter access. On Windows, OSTA added the VAT build to the UDF standard in its revision 1.5. The VAT is an additional structure on the disk that allows packet writing, that is, remapping physical blocks when files or other data on the disk are modified or deleted. For write once media, the entire disk is virtualized, making the write once nature transparent for the user. The disk can be treated the same way one would treat a rewritable disk. The write once nature of CDR or DVDR media means that when a file is deleted on the disk, the file's data still remains on the disk. It does not appear in the directory anymore, but it still occupies the original space where it was stored. Eventually, after using this scheme for some time, the disk will be full, as free space cannot be recovered by deleting files. Special tools can be used to access the previous state of the disk the state before the delete occurred, making recovery possible. Not all drives fully implement version 1.5 or higher of the UDF, and some may therefore be unable to handle VAT builds. Topic. Spared RW build Rewritable media such as DVD-RW and CD-RW have fewer limitations than DVD-R and CD-R media. Sectors can be rewritten at random, though in packets at a time. These media can be erased entirely at any time, making the disk blank again, ready for writing a new UDF or other file system e.g., ISO 9660 or CD-Audio to it. However, sectors of RW media may wear out after a while, meaning that their data becomes unreliable, through having been rewritten too often, typically after a few hundred rewrites, with CDRW. The plain and VAT builds of the UDF format can be used on rewritable media, with some limitations. If the plain build is used on a RW media, file system level modification of the data must not be allowed, as this would quickly wear out often used sectors on the disk such as those for directory and block allocation data, which would then go unnoticed and lead to data loss. To allow modification of files on the disk, rewritable disks can be used like R media using the VAT build. This ensures that all blocks get written only once successively, ensuring that there are no blocks that get rewritten more often than others. This way, a RW disk can be erased and reused many times before it should become unreliable. However, it will eventually become unreliable with no easy way of detecting it. When using the VAT build, CDRW, DVDRW media effectively appears as CDR or DVD plus or minus R media to the computer. However, the media may be erased again at any time. The spared build was added in revision 1.5 to address the particularities of rewritable media. 
This build adds an extra sparing table in order to manage the defects that will eventually occur on parts of the disk that have been rewritten too many times. This table keeps track of worn out sectors and remaps them to working ones. UDF defect management does not apply to systems that already implement another form of defect management, such as Mount Rainier MRW for optical disks, or a disk controller for a hard drive. The tools and drives that do not fully support revision 1.5 of UDF will ignore the sparing table, which would lead them to read the outdated worn-out sectors, leading to retrieval of corrupted data. Topic. Character set The UDF specifications allow only one character set OSTACS0, which can store any Unicode code point excluding U plus FEF and U plus FE. Additional character sets defined in ECMA 167 are not used, since errata DCN 5157, the range of code points was expanded to all code points from Unicode 4.0 or any newer or older version, which includes supplementary multilingual plain characters. DCN 5157 also recommends normalizing the strings to normalization form C. The OSTACS0 character set stores a 16 bit Unicode string, compressed into 8 bit or 16 bit units, preceded by a single byte, compid, tag to indicate the compression type. The 8 bit storage is functionally equivalent to ISO 88591, and the 16 bit storage is UTF 16 in Big Endian. The reference algorithm neither checks for forbidden code points nor interprets surrogate pairs. Due to DCN 5157, the Unicode string needs to be interpreted as UTF-16 to represent plain 1-16 code points such as emoji. Topic. Compatibility Many DVD players do not support any UDF revision other than version 1.02. Discs created with a newer revision may still work in these players if the ISO 9660 bridge format is used. Even if an operating system claims to be able to read UDF 1.50, it still may only support the plain build and not necessarily either the VAT or spared UDF builds. Mac OS X 10.4.5 claims to support revision 1.50 Cman mount underscore UDF, yet it can only mount disks of the plane build properly and provides no virtualization support at all. It cannot mount UDF disks with VAT, as seen with the Sony Mavica issue. Releases before 10.4.11 mount disks with sparing table but does not read its files correctly. Version 10.4.11 fixes this problem. Similarly, Windows XP Service Pack 2 SP2 cannot read DVD RW disks that use the UDF 2.00 sparing tables as a defect management system. This problem occurs if the UDF defect management system creates a sparing table that spans more than one sector on the DVD RW disk. Windows XP SP2 can recognize that a DVD is using UDF, but Windows Explorer displays the contents of a DVD as an empty folder. A hotfix is available for this and is included in Service Pack 3. Topic. See also Comparison of file systems DVD authoring ISO, IEC 13490 Topic. References Topic. Further reading ISO, IEC 13346 Standard, also known as ECMA 167 Topic. External links OSTA homepage Wang Wang Wang's UDF Introduction Linux UDF Support Microsoft Windows UDF Read Troubleshooting UDF Revision 2. 60 March 1, 2005 X, CD-ROM File System and UDFS